Hey everybody, so today I am here to do a baby bottle review for you guys. I went ahead and I chose bottles that I feel like have either been on the market for a good while or I hear a lot of good things about. So I wanted to go ahead and give, I have five different bottles here to review for you guys. These are kind of neutral if you're looking for bottles that are great for going back and forth between nursing and bottle feeding I'll have that link down below that went up on my channel not too long ago I also have one more BB bottle review coming for you guys so be on the lookout for that but those are more specifically geared towards a certain type of bottle this however I feel like if you're just looking for general bottles this is your video. I did want to mention before I get started with my first one that this Born Free bottle that I had gotten, I think I showed it in one of my BB by hauls. I was super excited to review for you guys. However, I have learned, and I'm almost 100% positive this is true, that it's discontinued. However, I have found it on Amazon and a couple other places that it is still available for purchase. Now, when I say this is discontinued, I mean like all the bottles that look like this from Born Free seem to be being discontinued. They came out with a new style of bottle. I've seen it on Amazon. It looks very interesting. But as far as I understand, all of these types of bottles are being discontinued. I was kind of going back and forth between whether or not to put it in the review, not put it in the review. Really didn't know what to do. But I decided to throw it in because one, I bought it. I tested it out for you guys. And number two, if you could get this on Amazon, at a store, or even secondhand, I felt like maybe it'll be useful for someone. So I'm going to save this one all the way until the end just in case you're not interested in hearing about something that may be a little bit hard to get your hands on. So the first bottle that I have for you guys is called the Tommy Tippy Closer to Nature Bottle. A three pack of five ounce bottles will cost you $16.49 and a three pack of nine ounce bottles will cost you $16.49 and that's obviously what the nine ounce bottle looks like. It doesn't leak, it's really easy to clean and I have had a couple questions based off of my previous baby bottle review where I reviewed their ultra bottle but it does not have that same crazy little nook nipple ring thing going on that the ultra has that was a deal breaker for me this bottle is pretty simple it's straightforward it like i said it doesn't leak it works well it's pretty easy to clean since it does have a wider mouth on it we use them like i said and we had absolutely no problems with them i do like that they're all over the place i've seen them at walmart target just all kinds of different places and like I said I really can't find a con about this bottle I all around think it's a really good bottle it just didn't work super perfectly for us so that's why I decided to keep it moving the next bottle that I have is the Philips Avent Naturals a three pack of four ounce bottles will cost you $21.99 and a three pack of nine ounce bottles will cost you $20.49 so that's what it looks like I got this little guy from um Babies are us, and it's just, it's so cute. I don't know what it is. I don't know why it looks so tiny to me. I think it's just because it's like wide and short. It just makes it super cute. This bottle also doesn't leak. It is also pretty easy to clean because it does, again, have the wide mouth on it. And it is also widely available again. I would say the only con that I don't necessarily love about it is, is the nipple is, I don't know, it's kind of got a bit, like, too many nooks and crannies for me to clean. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's got kind of like this hard rim on the outside. It's uh, not very easy to get a sponge up inside here because the bottom of the nipple is so thick and tough. It's hard to get something to clean up in there. And, but I mean, that's just being very nitpicky about it. I'm just trying to find flaws in these for you guys. But I mean, I, you know, really liked it. Now I had heard things about these bottles leaking. I feel like the reviews I read on them were pretty 50-50. Some people said they leaked horribly. Other people said that they didn't leak at all. Based off of my personal experience, they have never leaked on me. My suggestion whenever a bottle is leaking on you is to always contact customer service. I know a lot of people have asked me about the Dr. Browns and I always tell them to contact customer service because a lot of the times the company wants to figure out why the bottle is leaking. So they will either send you replacements, they'll help you troubleshoot, like they wanna to get to the bottom of it too because it's their product and they want you to be happy with it and they don't want a whole bunch of people complaining that the bottles are leaking. 
thinking. So if you are experiencing that, just hit up Advent, you know, just tell them what's going on. But anyways, we did like this bottle. So up next I have the Mam anti colic bottle. A two pack of five ounce bottles will cost you $13.99 and a two pack of nine ounce bottles will cost you $13.99. And this bottle is by far and away the most interesting I feel like out of all of them. This bottle is super easy to clean because all the parts come unattached. Basically you completely unassemble this bottle and so it makes it super easy to clean it's not like you got to worry about any nooks and crannies because you can unassemble it all and then also with this it is self sterilizing I'm not going to show you how because I don't want to be responsible for people being like oh, I did it how you said and I ruined my bottle just read the directions when you buy these bottles but basically there's a way you can put everything together stick it in your microwave and it sterilizes them which I think is amazing and you just use their little cap their travel lid and as you can see on the side here it's got measurements for the water that's needed for it so I think that's really amazing especially if you're out and about somewhere and the nipple or even the bottle itself is just kind of grimy or something and you're worried about it it's pretty easy as long as you have a microwave also it doesn't leak as long as it's used properly one time in the middle of the night when I was half asleep I did not put this bottom white valve in here correctly and all you do is you just stick it down inside here obviously you need to press it and you need to make sure that it's even and it's down inside they're good I did not do that so therefore it leaked out of the bottom holes this is their venting system so that's why things are like this but it leaked out of one of these bottom holes but that was user error so as long as you're using it correctly you shouldn't have any leaking issues and then the last little bit that I love about this bottle is the unique nipple on it oh my gosh super cool I'd never seen anything like it and we actually tried this bottle out for this purpose. Now, I did get a free one from Babies R Us, and I had planned on using it just to try it out for this review. But something came up with Remy. She's been having difficulties feeding, and she has a very horrible gag reflex. And basically, we needed a different kind of nipple. Everything that I was offering her seemed to be too long. It would just further agitate her gag reflex. But this nipple is shorter and just it's different shape. She seems to take to a lot easier and she doesn't have as many problems with. Now, I would say that the only con about this bottle is, like I said, you have to assemble the entire bottle itself when you're cleaning it and when you go to use it again. So it is a little bit time consuming, but honestly, to me, it's no more work than what you would do for a Dr. Brown's bottle. And because it works so well for us, it's worth it. Just like the Dr. Brown's were worth it for Sophie, this bottle is definitely worth the assembly when it comes to Remy. Leading me to my last point is that we absolutely love these bottles. We have a ton of them now. It's what we're using with Remy just because she does take to these the best and we just have absolutely no complaints about them. I just think they're great. I will say they're not the best for heating up milk in just because the bottom is so thick. That should be a con. I would go ahead and I would heat your water or your breast milk up in a separate thinner bottle than this because the bottom is so thick. But like I said, it's Remy's favorite, so it's our favorite, and we've been loving it. The next bottle that I have for you guys is the Nubi Natural Touch Bottle. A three-pack of the six-ounce bottles is $12.99, and a three-pack of the nine-ounce bottles is $12.99. So obviously, these bottles are super affordable. They also don't leak at all, and they're easy to clean because just like with the other bottles, they are a pretty good wide-mouth bottle. But... I think the biggest pro about this bottle is just how affordable they are and I'll get to why that's even more of a plus here in a second but I basically couldn't find anything that I disliked about this bottle I felt like overall between the price and just everything else how it works efficiently it's a great choice for a bottle and I feel like the price is even better because I think this is a really great bottle for if you're nursing and you're going back and forth between nursing and bottle feeding it has an incredibly slow flow nipple and the textures on here actually resemble that of an actual breast and then you can see the nipple right here but it's incredibly breast like if you ask me a lot of times the breastfeeding specific bottles tend to be more expensive which I feel like is a huge bummer I'm all for you know advocating breastfeeding and making that possible for everybody so I feel like it's a little bit ridiculous to charge people a ton of money for a bottle when they're just trying to 
keep up a nursing relationship that they've worked really hard for so but anyways that's my little rant on that but I just overall think this is a great bottle even if you're not planning on going back and forth between nursing and bottle feeding I've used this with Remy when I was exclusively pumping and she did great with it like I said it's just an overall great bottle as promised my last bottle is called the Born Free Naturals. Now I'm not going to include prices because like I said it's kind of spotty. It depends where you're looking and you, you may come down to just buy these second hand off of eBay. Whatever it may be if you're really looking for these bottles. But overall we really really liked these bottles before the ma'ams we were using this one religiously and I almost went out to go get more but that's when we just switched over the mams because this nipple is still even a little long for Remy. But it does have a venting system inside that looks like this. And it's just a little disc that pops down inside. And these are two separate pieces so you have to put those together. But then you just press it down on top and then you just screw it and it's good to go. Now the reason mine looks a little bit different, like a, a different kind of tint to it, is because this is the high heat resistant bottle now this is made with what I believe is and if it's if I'm incorrect I'll correct myself down here but I do believe that it's made with a PPSU material which basically is kind of like glass it's not going to absorb any odors or anything like that over time and it's just it's a really great option and that's the difference between this and the ones that are exactly shaped like this but clear and I think there's even like I don't know, ones that they called designed and then they had designs on them. But this bottle is great. We absolutely loved it. I didn't notice any extra gas or anything like that with Remy. I feel like the venting system did its job and we really did enjoy these. It is a huge bummer that they're being discontinued. I don't know why they couldn't just, you know, add the other bottles into this line because everyone who I've heard use these bottles really does enjoy them. I do know that the glass bottles were an option with this design, however I don't know if those are also being discontinued. If you have any further information on these bottles, leave it in the comments down below for anybody who may be interested. And the only con that I could find about this bottle was just that the venting system is a little cumbersome to clean just because, like I said, it is the two parts and they kind of do have a lot of nooks and crannies and it just takes a little bit of time. It's not too difficult with hot soapy water to get them clean, but it's just a little time consuming. But overall, we really did enjoy that bottle. I would highly suggest if you're interested in them, snatching up the ones that are left on Amazon. So those were all the bottles that I had for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, thanks for watching.